Hey guys, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. We all know the struggle of painting your other hand. Yes, the one you paint with your non-dominant hand. In today's nail tutorial, Hannah will be sharing with you her tips and tricks on how to perfect your manicure on both of your hands. So let's get started. Hi, it's Hannah. So my right hand is my dominant one, and as you can see, it's a bit more beat up than my left since I use it more. For the best results, I'm going to prep it a little by first applying a cuticle remover and pushing back my cuticles. This will remove any dead skin, so my nails will have a cleaner area for painting. It's best to get the hard part over with, so prep both hands, then polish your dominant hand first and let it dry completely before switching to the other hand. Then you won't have to worry about smearing or messing anything up. Also, be sure to take your time. Don't try to do this when you're in a rush, try to find some time where you can just relax. Next, apply a base coat to your nails. This helps protect the nails and also gives the nail bed a smoother surface for better and easier application. If you have ridges, try a ridge filler base coat. Make sure there's not too much polish on the brush so you won't flood the nail and also find a polish with a brush that suits your nail shape. This one works for me because it's slightly rounded at the end and forms to my cuticle area nicely. Help stabilize your hand by placing your pinky down on something solid. This helps so you can get in close to the cuticle without touching. Start by doing a stroke down the middle, then to one side, the other side, and then blend it in. Another good tip is to place your wrist down on your other wrist to help stabilize when your nails are facing you. I find that this really helps with shakiness and also for me, it's a lot easier to paint my nails this way. You can easily remove any excess with a toothpick to scrape it off the skin before it dries. You can also use a rubber band to reduce shakiness by placing it around both hands. The tension from the band keeps your hands from moving erratically so you have better control. Also, lighter colors are definitely easier to apply than darker ones since darker shades are much more prominent with showing the edges of where you polished. Another great tip is to use a nail barrier. Nail tape, liquid latex, or just regular scotch tape are great ways to protect the skin around the nail. You won't have to be as careful when polishing. Once you're done, you just remove the barrier and you can use remover and a brush to clean up any polish that snuck in. As cliche as it sounds, practice makes perfect and that's basically how you get better at anything. When I first started, I was pretty bad at just painting my nails in general, and as I got more used to it, I got better and better, and you definitely can too. If you have any other tips you'd like to share, be sure to leave a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos on Cute Polish, click these boxes, and click this circle here to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. And if you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, click this circle here. Thanks for watching.